One of the most important skills to learn in university is time management. Certainly this is important in reading heavy history courses during long semesters. It's even more so during the summer. Summer courses are required by the state and by regional accreditation agencies to provide the same amount and quality of instruction that you would get in a regular semester, yet in a compressed period of time. Likewise, it means that students have to expect to do the same amount of work in a shorter time period. So it's up to you to decide how to juggle responsibilities. You're graded on the assignments you turn in, papers, discussions, quizzes. In each of those, you're expected to have a general understanding of the subject you're learning. You're not responsible for knowing everything about the topic. For this course, I chose the Ken Burns and the Reconstruction Documentary Series because they provide a good general introduction, sort of like class lectures. If you were to be in a face-to-face -face summer class, you'd be coming to class four days a week for two hours per session. So asking you to watch three 90-minute films is well within the expectations. I chose three books to address several topics. McPherson generally is a reference book on the Civil War. Foner is on the Reconstruction period. The books are long, yet comprehensive and inexpensive. These books will go more in-depth into issues raised in the documentaries. That doesn't mean you should ignore McPherson or Foner, but those are more detailed examinations of the material covered in the documentaries. I suggest you watch the films assigned first, then refer to the Foner and McPherson book for more information and better understanding and examples. They also provide useful references to primary sources you can use in your essays. Once you're familiar with topics from lectures or a film, it makes reading much easier and faster because you already have a grasp of the general course of events and topics. Bynum's book, which you will finish this week, is an in-depth look at a particular community. And like any supplemental reading, it will be quizzed and tested over more particularly. But even though this book will require more careful reading, you're quizzed over general topics, main points, and central arguments. Not every word. Students just took a quiz over the term due date, deadlines, and grace period. And I've covered those terms adequately in the syllabus, in the welcome message, and other places, so I'll presume you understand what those terms mean. If I'm wrong, please look those terms up in a dictionary for more clarification.